p block elements elements of group 13 to 18 are p block elements okay so group 13 to 18 in the long form periodic table are p block elements and their general electronic configuration is ns2 np1 to 6 okay and p block elements also contains non metallic elements and their maximum oxidation state is equal to the total number of valence electrons maximum oxidation state equals the total number of valence electrons okay they also shows other oxidation states also okay for example for groups like 13 14 and 15 in this case is the lighter elements lighter elements means the elements in the top of the group those elements show this uh, the, the stable oxidation state is maximum oxidation state or total number of valence electrons okay in case of lighter elements their stable oxidation state is group oxidation state or maximum oxidation state okay they also but down the group what happens the oxidation state becomes that is heavier elements in the case of heavier elements they shows oxidation state two units less than the group oxidation state two units less than group oxidation state will be more stable okay state so state is more stable okay this is due to the reason called inert pair effect okay this is due to inert pair effect now what is inert pair effect so inert pair effect inert pair effect means the reluctance or unwilling the reluctance or unwilling of ns orbital unwilling the electrons of ns orbital okay of ns orbitals of valence shell to get unpaired to get unpaired and participate in bond formation okay so in the case of heavier elements what happens the ns orbitals that is ns2 orbitals the outermost ns2 or two electrons in the ns orbital those electrons are unwilling to get unpaired and participate in bond formation as a result of that they shows plus 1 oxidation state in the case of group 3 oxidation state or we can say two units less than the group oxidation state will be more stable for elements in the uh, elements down the group okay so this is the inert pair effect next p block elements also contains non metals and metalloids also contains non metals metals and metalloids okay these elements have that is p block elements have high electronegativity and high ionization enthalpies high electronegativity and 
അയണൈസേഷൻ ആൻഡ് അൾപ്പി ഓക്കെ സോ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് പി ബ്ലോക്ക് എലമെൻസ് നോർമലി മെറ്റൽസ് ഫോം കാറ്റിയോൺസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ആർ ഹാവിങ് ലോ അയണൈസേഷൻ എനർജി ദേ ക്യാൻ ഈസിലി റിലീസ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് ആൻഡ് ഫോം കാറ്റയോൺസ് മെറ്റൽസ് ക്യാൻ ഫോം ആറ്റ് കാറ്റയോൺസ് ബട്ട് നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ദ ആർ ഹൈലി ഇലക്ട്രോ നെഗറ്റീവ് സോ ദേ ക്യാൻ ഫോം ആനയോൺസ് ഓക്കെ സോ നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ക്യാൻ ഫോം ആനയോൺസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ക്ലോറിൻ ക്ലോറിൻ ഇസ് ഹൈലി ഇലക്ട്രോ നെഗറ്റീവ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഫോംസ് സി എൽ മൈനസ് അയോൺസ് ഓക്കെ ആനയോൺസ് ആർ ഫോംഡ് ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് ഫോംഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ആർ കോവലൻ്റ് ഇൻ നേച്ചർ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ദ ആർ ലാർജ്ലി കോവലൻ്റ് they are covalent in nature okay and next non metals non metal oxides are they form oxides so non metal oxides are acidic in nature they may be acidic or neutral in nature whereas metal oxides are basic in nature if we take an example calcium carbonate on thermal decomposition it gets converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide here calcium oxide is a metal oxide and carbon dioxide is a non metal oxide okay this metal oxide is basic in nature okay whereas carbon dioxide this is non metal oxide which is acidic in nature okay now next point the first members the first members of each group that is from 13 to 17 p block elements are from 13 to 18 so from group 13 to 17 the first members differs much from the other members of the same group okay this is due to the following reasons that is due to their small size then due to their high electronegativity high electronegativity and absence of d orbitals absence of d orbitals in valence shell absence of d orbitals in valence shell for example if we take the 13th group the first member is boron boron is a second period element second period okay it does not contain any d orbital similarly as all the other groups also the first member uh, uh, in the case of first member there is absence of d orbital so due to these re- three reasons they differs much from other members next so first members of these groups shows greater ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds okay first members have the greater ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds to itself or with other elements okay example c double bond c okay c form double bond with c then c triple bond c n triple bond n next c double bond o with other elements okay c double bond n etc okay but for higher elements what happens bonding involves d orbitals also so in such cases d pi p pi and d pi d pi 
bonds are formed and this d pi p pi and d pi d pi bonds are having higher energy than p pi p pi multiple bonds so they are less stable and their uh, their strength will be less okay they are less strong and the formation of such bonds double bonds will be or multiple bonds will be less in the case of higher elements okay this is the first difference next second case in the case of first members that is second period elements okay second period elements or first member of the group the configuration will be 2s2 2p n okay but from third period the configuration will be 3s2 3p n then before 4s there is a 3d vacant orbital okay so in case of second period there is no d orbitals okay so during the formation of uh, com uh, different compounds like example bf4 minus and alf6 minus in this case the covalency is 4 this is due to the this is the second period element so configuration will be like this so it contains 1 2s orbital and 3p orbital okay so only four orbitals are available and the covalency will be maximum restricted so restricted to maximum four okay okay this restricted to four never covalency beyond four takes place okay but in the case of third period due to the presence of 3d orbital it can uh, express their coordination or covalency beyond four that is why here the covalency is 6 and here covalency is 4. Now, next case in the case of oxo ions, oxo anions formed by nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is the first member and phosphorus is a third period element, a next member. Okay, in this case, nitrogen forms an anion, anion NO3 minus, whereas phosphorus forms po4 3 minus okay here only three coordination this is due to the here also nitrogen contains p orbitals only so p orbitals only contribute for the uh, uh, pi bond formation okay only p orbitals contributes for pi bonding okay but in the case of phosphorus yes p and d orbital there is vacant d orbital is present so this d orbital also contributes for the pi bonding in the coordination contributes for pi bonding so it forms po4 3 minus whereas nitrogen forms no3 uh, minus even though their oxidation states are plus 5 both are having plus 5 oxidation state so due to this reason first member nitrogen differs much from the phosphorus okay these are the important points